All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and welcome to Chow Resort Island. Yes, Chow Garden, Chow, the Chow from Sonic have their own game in 2017. This is not a drill. How are you doing, guys? This is Chow Resort Island. It is a fan-made game. It just came out yesterday, the day before, I believe. It has not been out very long. This game is brand freaking new. It is a fan game specifically for and specifically about Chow. It's got all the old features we missed. It's got some new features, obviously a whole new world to delve into here. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna let the game speak for itself. Let's go ahead and dive into this one. So there is actually a, uh, you can set the own time. You can either set the time to run off your clock. So when it's day at your place, it's it's day time at the Chow Resort. When it's nighttime at your place, it's nighttime at the Chow Resort. Uh, it is 4 a.m. where I live right now. So I manually set the time uh, to uh, daytime and I also set the season because you can set seasons in this game to summer uh, But welcome to our first summer day here at Chow Resort Island You might hear me call it Chow Island Resort. It's just because I read it wrong the first couple times I read it. Hey you there. Wait just a second All right, we appear to have an old grandfather Chow retiring at Florida uh, retiring to Florida to come up uh, Spit some Chow knowledge on us apparently. Woo. It's not easy for this fellow to travel back and forth through this area Anyway, yeah, hiya, welcome to the island. Chow Resort Island, that is. Look at how goofy he looks. You don't look familiar to me, so you must be a new guest. Let me introduce myself. I'm Professor Bunga. Yeah, I own this here island and host these spots myself. We're in my courtyard, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't pick the flowers, yeah? Tenants typically reserve space at these resorts to raise their, chi uh, to raise their chow. I almost read child. You know, the little blue creatures, you aren't... aren't Aren't you a chow guy? You don't need to explain it to me. You can just tell me. Hey, I'm a chow. That's what we look like. I usually offer tips to raising them free of charge. You'll understand soon. Come on. Wow, long walk. I'm glad we made it. Uh, right now, there's only one resort that has an open slot available. But you're in luck, son. It's perfect for beginners like you. To the left of us is the beach resort. Great place. Fine place. I think you'll like it. Go check it out and tell me what you think. I'd follow you there, but I need time to rest rest my old bones after running through here all day. Hehe. <laughs> we'll discuss things further when you come back. All right, we can officially walk around on our own. Uh, if I hold the uh, circle button, I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller. This game does have controller support. If I use the circle button, I can actually walk faster. But if I try to go down the wrong path, my, my inner monologue apparently kicks me out. Um, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and save before I go in here. And I, I might have to explain why I'm saving here at a later time. I might not. I love the pause screen right now. It's just Shadow chilling out in the background. Listen to some music. We had a chat with a soccer ball over there. Shadow's under an umbrella. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Um, I'll explain a little bit later. Let's go ahead and dive into the resort. What does this beach resort have for us? I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that this is actually, this kind of acts like a garden. You know, see there's an egg. We already found, there's two eggs. We already found two, we already found two eggs. Got a couple palm trees around here. Got the water. Which I can go out into. Good reflection. The reflection's a nice touch, especially how it fades in like that. I dig it. I dig it. Got a little resort. I'm gonna guess these act as the Chow Gardens, though. Let's go ahead and we can pick up an egg. See what's up with this, huh? This is an egg. I should probably leave it be. I'm gonna go put it here by the other eggs. He's got a friend. There you go. Little friend egg to hang out. Hang out with your boy. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil a little bit. I did a little test run. Played this game for five minutes before. Those chow eggs won't actually hatch while you're in the garden there. It's something that they probably should point out to you, but you can hang out in there all day. Those chow eggs won't hatch. You do have to come back and talk to uh, Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick here before you can go back into those chow eggs will hatch. That's why I'm leaving right away. Oh, hey, yo. That was pretty quick. So, what do you think? Relaxing sounds of the ocean waves, great view of the night sky, my personal favorite vacation spot. <laughs> yeah. The two eggs you saw on there are for guests who haven't brought in any chow. Wow, you're in luck again. Be sure to take good care of them when they hatch. Uh, there are plenty of ways to do that. Feeding them, petting them. We also offer great resources at the resort center. You'll be able to buy fruit, toys, and more as long as you have enough chow tokens, yeah? Chow tokens will allow you to buy anything. We don't take rings here. You can earn these by entering your chow in chow games. Fun stuff. Yeah, your chow can compete with other chow here in a number of fun activities we host. So the chow games actually are the old school chow races uh, that you guys know and love. Just to point that out. If anyone's wondering what the chow games are, uh, or if this game has chow races. Yes, and that's what they are. I do not know about karate, though. We might find that one out together. You can find out more about uh, more at the resort center. Now, let's see. Oh, the resorts led from the other paths here are all booked up. So you're only able to use the beach resort. For now. Look, we'll discuss that later. Just focus on the left path, okay? So now, uh, that's the end of that. I'll be in my office. 
Later from now, you might find me standing out here. Don't be afraid to have a chat. Well, see you around. So since there's two other paths and they're quote unquote booked up for now, I'm wondering if they unlock later when we beat races or something, or I'm wondering if when we unlock hero, if it's the equivalent of unlocking hero and, and hell garden, hero and uh, devil garden or whatever, you know, by getting our chow to, to evolve in that sense. But here we are back at the beach resort. I think it takes roughly one minute or so for these, uh, for these chow eggs to go ahead and wake up. Now I could be a huge jerk and throw them against the wall, uh, but that does not take the eggs very long to hatch naturally. And throwing them against the wall doesn't do anything. It gets them out of the egg a little bit quicker, but what it really does is that it, it kind of decreases their mood. And I'll point that out in a minute. Um, so just a heads up, I cannot come up here and shake the tree or anything like that. That's not a thing. The fruit will just drop off when they're ready to be eaten. Um, also, while we're waiting, I guess I can tell you guys the link. Uh, I don't know if I can link this directly, but if you just look up Chow Resort Island. I actually, I, you know what? I'm going to put the link to this game in the description down below. Link to this game will be in the description down below. Do you look up Chow Resort Island, you will be able to download this game. Uh, it is totally free, like I said, a fan-made game. And uh, one last little nidbit that I don't think I pointed out earlier. I can actually play as three different characters in this game. I can walk around as Sonic as we get our first Chow to hatch here. I can walk around as Sonic. He's the hero type. I can walk around as Shadow. He's the dark type. Or I can walk around as Knuckles, who I believe is the neutral type in this game and that's kind of how you help align your child where you want them they actually put a neutral type in this game so you don't have to like play the balancing game of oh is this i don't think you have to play the balancing game i'm not i don't, i'm not 100 sure how it works yet so i'm not going to speak on it we got angry eyes angry happy guy if that's that's an oxymoron i guess or uh oh and we also got squiggly mouth wow we got two different faced characters holy crap all right i don't know i don't know if that's lucky or unlucky we got two we got two different faced characters i wonder what the odds of that are is what i should say let's pick up let's pick up uh, old angry eyes here this is your firstborn chow. Whenever you pick up your chow, their stats will appear. These stats will show your chow's current state as well as their progress. Give your chow items like fruit to raise their hunger and other stats. Take note of the actions prompt on the top right corner of the screen. This prompt will appear whenever you interact with chow, items, and other things. Press the Y button, triangle for me, I want a PlayStation controller. Press the triangle button to toggle, toggle through your options while, when this prompt appears. Happy chow raising. So you can see right now I can put him down. But I believe, we, yeah, we can also name him if I toggle it to the to the other setting. So what do we want to name old angry eyes? Uh, oh, I can't fit Mr. Potato Head. We're gonna name we're gonna name him uh, Happo. We're gonna name him Happo. I did have type on my keyboard for that. Put him back down, I guess. Uh, well, let's find out. Old squiggly mouth. This guy's very unsure of stuff. We want to go ahead and name old squiggly mouth. He'll look at him. All right. Uh, we're gonna name. We're gonna name squig squiggles. Name squiggly mouth Weezer. So there we go. Put him back down. We've got Happo and Weezer. Oh, I didn't even mean to pet him. I was trying to walk faster. There we go. We can feed him. I have to actually push the button to give him the fruit. No more chow just taking the fruit out of your hand when you walk by by accident. I get down with that idea. And as you can see, that increases both their belly and their stamina. They do have a mood meter, which I think is happiness. Then there's swim, fly, run, uh, power are the other ones. So all those stats making a return. Um, I don't believe I can level those up with anything here in the garden. And obviously, there's no main game in this. So the only way to level them up is stuff I believe I buy from the resort center. I can get uh, chow tokens and things like that. Let's go ahead and make uh, make both chow as full as they possibly can get while we're here. Let's go ahead and max that belly out. Hopefully we get maybe one of their stamina levels raised up. If I open up my chow menu here, as soon as that goes away, open up my chow menu here, I can check out my chow status. This is the equivalent of checking the doctor. So instead of picking up the chow and running all the way to the doctor, I can just do this. Let's go ahead and check on Weezer. Child, obviously he doesn't have any wins or losses yet. He's still, you know, he's, he's not old at all. We look over here at his stats. Um, he is just completely terrible. Weezer is just awful at swimming and running, but he's decent at everything else, which is a real bummer because running is the only thing you need to be decent at. At least in the other games, this one might be totally different. Let's see what's going on with Hapo. Hapo actually has a D, an A, and three Cs. So I tell you, I tell you guys what, uh, since his A is only in running, both these Chow are actually kind of crappy. So I'm going to take that save point that I had and I'm going to reload it. And I'll be back when I've got some chows with better grades. I will be right back. All right, so it took a couple resets, but we're back. Uh, in case, just to kind of explain to you guys what I did while I go ahead and refeed these guys real quick. Remember when I saved my game earlier? Well, I saved my game in that spot uh, just after you talk to the guy before you actually enter the resort for the first time because that's when the eggs spawn. Um, to save my game just in case I needed to reload in case I got some chow that I wasn't too happy with and I wanted some different chow. 
uh, because once you step into the resort, even though they're still in the eggs, the Chow already have their grades uh, for their for their points. Oh no, I kicked him over. Come back to me, Weezer. Wait, no, you're not Weezer. Hapo, Hapo, I'm so sorry. Hold on. Let me pet this back. Well, I'll make this. I'll make this right, Hapo. I didn't mean it, Hapo. But anyways, if I go ahead and pull up their grades here, actually, let me come over here and look at uh, Weezer's grades. I need that thing to get off the screen first. Look at Weezer's grades real quick. Oh god, I named them the wrong thing! Can I rename them? Uh, come here, you. Alright, you are... You are not... Alright, you are Hapo. God, I am the worst Chow parent of all time. Chow owner? See, Chow are always kind of a mix of people. Like, they were like little babies. Not like people people, but like babies, you know. They're kind of fake. But babies are kind of fake people, if we really think about it. They're a mixture of babies and animals, so I never knew if I was a parent or an owner, you know? Like, can I... Like put this thing down if it gets you know too right like if it's a person do I put it down or do I treat it like a human being and we just try to teach it to be better you know like how does how does this work? Not Wes. Weezer or Wezer? We do Weezer like that. All right. So anyways, uh, if I go ahead and look at these Chow grades, what's going on here? Let me look at Weezer's grades. You can see Weezer's grades are actually not very good. He has a C in swimming, E in flying, D in running, C in power, C in stamina. If you guys don't know what Chow grades are, you're at the wrong place. Chow grades essentially determine how good a Chow is going to be at each stat. And as you can tell, Weezer is going to be average at stamina, power, and swimming. He's going to be slightly below average in running, which is really bad normally. And he's just going to be awful at flying. Weezer will not be able to fly at all. But... Uh, and my first two set of Chow, my first Hapo and Weezer were really bad too, but since I reset and I kept coming into the garden and opening up new eggs, I actually got, uh, Hapo here, who was going to be a freaking legend, look at this guy! Average swimmer, terrible power, but terrific in flying, running, and stamina, that's gonna come in mega, mega handy. So, I think what we're gonna do, let me pick these guys up, how they doing? They do have room for more food, I'm actually gonna leave him with room for more food, for now, because, uh, I have an idea. We're going to come over to the resort area. So as I was talking about earlier, I don't think I can actually level them up in anything other than stamina. I can maybe make their mood a little bit higher than obviously their belly by feeding them more food. But I don't think I can actually level them up with anything without visiting the resort center. So let's talk to old man again. You might catch me out here from time to time. I enjoy the scenery. If you need advice, don't hesitate to come talk to me. All right, well, uh, you're out here and I need advice. How do I level up my chow? The chow games are beneficial if you want chow tokens. You'll still learn some, even if you lose. Everyone's happy, yeah? Well, I don't know about that, but at least he gave me some advice. So this is the Chow Resort Center. It's where we're going to be doing our, all of our stuff at. We're, we're going to be making a lot of trips back and forth from the Resort Center to the actual garden, to the resort, I should say. From the Resort Center to the resort, back and forth a lot. Uh, we have a gift shop here where I can buy stuff. Let's see what they got in the gift shop. Uh, a bunch of different fruit. As you can see, the fruit actually say what they level up on them. Uh, this one's average stat base, whatever that means. I'm assuming it gives like one point to every stat. I don't know. Uh, I believe that's flying slash power stat base, which makes me assume if I give that to my child, it will level up in flying or power. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, flying slash running. Running slash power. Uh, swimming slash running, I believe. And flying. And then S slash P. I don't want to go through it all. Uh, normal egg gives me a regular egg like the two we just hatched. Red egg, we can also get colored chow, of course, just like in the old chow garden games. Uh, we can buy our toys here. You don't actually get your toys from, from winning, uh, certain chow things or sending them to school or whatever. We can just buy the toys. Toy trumpet, and get a little rubber duck. For beginning swimmers, oh, that's adorable. Rubber ball, bouncy ball to play with. Uh, there's also, what is this? I don't know, I don't know what this, I don't know what this line of stuff is. I guess this is the accessories? Baseball cap and a beanie, so we got two hats here we could buy to put on our chow if we had the if we had the tokens for it. There's also we can get a bow tie and a necktie right now. That's that's all adorable. As you can see by the upper right hand corner, we actually have zero chow tokens right now. Let's go to sell items. I don't have any items with me. I don't have anything to sell. So let's go ahead and check out the chow games then. Let's go ahead and take uh, Hapo was the good one. Let's take Hapo on his first ever chow adventure. Now he hasn't leveled up anything, so I think they're both kind of tied now. Uh, but let's do a flying race. Let's have Hapo go into a flying race. He hasn't leveled up in anything yet. But there was no way for him to level up in anything. So I can only assume that even at level zero, they should be able to still win the level one races. That's my guess. That's my shot in the dark here. You can see the stamina meter, and here we go with the flying race. Come on, Hapo! I already burned some stamina. I might regret that. He might not have enough stamina to get to the end of the race. But he's out in front now, thanks to the stamina boost. 
And as you can see, there's some gray chow, there's some dark gray chow, there's a there's a, a blue chow, a darker colored blue chow, I, I should say. There's a green chow back there. I almost got lost with them. He blended in with the grass a little bit. And this is a chow race. Uh, let's burn a little bit more stamina to ensure victory, and Hapo wins his first race. Look at him go, people. Look at Hapo do his thing. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations. All right, there we go. And there's our 40 chow tokens. Now we can buy at least some of the fruit from the place. And we can use that fruit to level him up. And we can level him up and make him better while we wait for him to become a hero or dark or neutral chow. And we can make him types. And there's so much stuff to do in this game. I think I'm going to head back to the resort for just a second. Now that we've won our first race here. Grandpa got anything to tell me? Might get up. Nope, same thing. Head back to the resort real quick. Because I wanted to check to see what Hapo was good at again. He's good at flying, running, and stamina. So if I want to buy him fruit, I need to see if there's any fruit that give him both flying and running. Because those are going to be his two specialties. That's what I would want to level up. Uh, but that was the first race, guys. This was an introduction to Chow Resort Island. If you guys want to want me to keep uploading parts, if you guys want to see the more races and things like that, feel free to let me know in the comment section down, down below. I could go ahead and make this an official playthrough. I would love to do that. That would be fantastic if you guys want the stamp on it. But this is your first sneak peek of gameplay at Chow Resort Island, the fan-made Chow-only game. If anybody is new around here, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. I also have an 80-part-plus actual Chow Garden from Sonic Adventure 2 series already uploaded on my channels. I will link that in the description down below if you guys want to go on an 80-part original Chow Garden. Not original. Sonic Adventure 2 Chow Garden Adventure. The link to that will be in the description down below as well. Thank you guys for coming out. I hope you guys enjoy. I think I'm going to do more Chow Resort Island uh, parts and things like that in the future. I'm Thundershot. I'm out. Peace. Late. And I will catch you guys next time.